Good morning everybody, this is Charlie with CNO Woodcrafts. Today we've got a video for you uh, that covers the Quetra P3 and Mach 3 support. Uh, what you're going to need to get this thing going is obviously you're going to need Mach 3. Which there's a demo, a demo copy of it, but it'll work the same with the real one. You're going to need a blank uh, text document. And you're going to need the GCO generator version 7. So we'll start with this version 7. Uh, if you're going to go to the navigation menu, and the first place you want to go to is a settings page right here. And this is where you're going to put in the measurements of your touch plate. Uh, these don't have to be extremely precise because you can always go back and fine tune it. And I'll show you that page right quick. Go to fine tuning, and you'll use this section right here to uh, fine tune your touch plate and you'll get a very accurate zero every single time. So let's go back to the settings page and we'll start by putting in some measurements. Uh, these are just rough guesstimates here. I, don't, I didn't actually measure a touch plate for this but we're just going to call the z-axis thickness at 0.8 inches which is pretty close to a, a touch plate size. The x-axis will just put it 2 inches and the uh, y-axis will put 2 inches. Those are going to be really close to what a real one would be. Uh, you can also set this in millimeters just by clicking this little button right here. Now that would be 0.8 millimeters and 2 millimeters there and there. So you want to make sure you add these dimensions in millimeters. Uh, for the purposes of uh, doing this in Mach 3, if you enter this in millimeters, everything will get converted to inches for the Mach 3 probing because it's all done in inches with, with Mach 3. Uh, we're just going to sit with inches for, for now anyway. So once you have your touch plate measurements in there, go back to your navigation menu. We're going to go straight to the Mach 3 script. Uh, on this page, this is the actual script right here that you're looking at. Okay. Uh, but before you copy this and install it, uh, you can just hover over this line right here. There's a pop-up box that gives you some instructions on how to use this. There are, excuse me, yeah, how to use this page. Here's Mach 3 instructions on how to actually get it copied in there. Uh, but before we do that, we need to set the desired feed rate right here. Actually, you set it in this box right here. Uh, you always want this to be between 1 and 5 inches. Uh, if for some silly reason you set it to 0, uh, it says 0 right there, but in the actual uh, script, it shows right here the probe feed is at 1. So it'll default to 1 if you put it at 0. If you go above 5 and put it at 6, you'll notice the, the box is pink, which is just kind of a warning saying you're going along the fast side, but you know you can do 6. But like I said, it's recommended that you keep it uh, between 1 and 5. Uh, I think a lot of Mach 3 users actually run it at 5. And once you've got 5 or anything between 1 and 5, the box will turn green, showing you're within a safe area. And, and when you put this in here, the G-code is automatically updated right here to show your feed rate. Okay. Also you'll notice that these two lines right here, or three lines actually, uh, are your plate thickness, your your X and your Y, and if you look right here they, they also match this. These numbers here uh, are actually come from the settings page. You don't actually change them in here. Uh, this page is protected. If you try to change it right here you'll get a warning that says can't do that. So if this is not correct, go back to the settings page, just navigation menu, settings, and make the changes here, and then come back to the Mach 3 script. So, once you have your touch plate dimensions in there correctly, and you have your desired feed rate that you want, it's really simple from there. Click on this button if you have macros enabled. If you don't have macros enabled, you can just click here and drag to the very bottom then you right click and copy. But to, because this is a long code, uh, to make it simple, I just put this little button here so you just click that. Now you saw it highlight and you see the little marching ants going all the way around the outside. That actually selected all the G-code script for the Mach 3 all the way to the bottom. Okay, And it's already copied to the your uh, system clipboard so you don't have to do anything else. The next step would be to open up that uh, notepad document and then you can right click and paste or you can go up to edit and choose paste if you like. 
Okay. Uh, you don't necessarily have to save this. Uh, I just recommend putting it in a notepad uh, so that you don't lose it from uh, being in the system clipboard while you're loading Mach 3 and making a couple of changes there. But you can save this if you like to whatever you want. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it open and minimize it out of the way. Okay, at this point, as far as the uh, G code generator uh, worksheet is, is, we're actually finished. Uh, I recommend that you save it. So we'll just go up here to, and just save. And now it's done. We can actually close it because we're finished with it. Okay, let's bring up Mach 3. Uh, as I said, this is a demo version of Mach 3. This isn't a real working version, but uh, the process will be the same. Right here is the uh, Auto Tool Zero button. And that's the one we're going to be using to actually automatically zero all three axes in one shot. Uh, so to get this button to work correctly, we're going to paste that code uh, in Mach 3. So to do that, we're going to go up to the operator menu at the top. We're going to go down and choose Edit Button Script. Now you'll notice that several of these buttons, the G-codes are flashing, the Auto Tool Zero is flashing, uh, this one's flashing, Display Mode is flashing. Uh, those are all buttons that you can edit. But we're going to do the Auto Tool Zero, so what you want to do is just click on the Auto Tool Zero. It opens up an editor. First thing you want to do is just click somewhere inside here doesn't really matter where, but you'll, then you'll go to Edit, Select All, Edit, and Delete. Now that button has nothing assigned to it. Okay, So now we'll go back to our text document that we saved earlier, and we'll choose Edit, Select All, Edit, and Copy. You can use keyboard shortcuts if you like. And come back over here and choose Edit and Paste. Okay, now we have all of this code pasted into here. So now we can close up our, our new text documents. You can delete it, save it, whatever you want to do with it. But it's in here now. So at this point, you're going to click on File and Save. And then you can just close it. So now, anytime you click on this Auto Tool Zero button, you're going to run the code to automatically zero all three axes at once. There are a couple of options when you when you run this and I'll go ahead and run it. Uh, the first thing it's going to say is Z0 only, yes or no. What they're asking you here is do you want to zero just your Z axis? If you do, you just hit yes. If not, you hit no. Or put in a Y or an N. And I'm going to skip, I'm not going to go with the yes because it's going to just process this code and say that it's done even though nothing really happened. But the other option is to select no. So I'm going to type in the letter N and say OK. And then it's going to ask you for the tool diameter in inches. That's the key is that it's in inches. OK. If you have an eighth inch bit, you'd put in 0.125. If you have a, uh, a quarter inch bit you'd put in 25, uh, 0.25, so 0.25 for a quarter inch bit. And then you say OK. And now you didn't see it happen, but it actually just ran this code. And down here at the bottom on your status is X, Y, and Z are zeroed. Now, like I said, this is a demo version. It's not actually connected to anything. Uh, so you didn't see anything happen. But uh, if you watch the other videos for the Track Wintra, uh, and, and watched it actually zeroing, it does exactly the same thing. Only this, now it's done with Mach 3. So I hope, hope that helps you. Uh, I think it's going to make this available to a whole lot more people uh, than just the Gerbil community. Uh, but this, uh, the, the spreadsheet there, let me open that back up. Uh, this version 7 will still work with uh, uh, Gerbil in the inch mode and it still has the uh, stepper calibration so if you need to count st uh, calibrate your stepper motors there's a worksheet for that so there, this is basically the same as uh, the last version except for the version 7 has Mach 3 script if you want to get this you can go to www 
charlindwoodcraft.com. That's C H A R L I N D woodcraft.com. All one word. And that's where they're at. Thanks for watching.